welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this slick ponytail. And to all my thick haired naturals, I'm here to tell you it is possible. You need to stretch your arms out a little bit before you start because it is an arm workout. But if you want to see how I did it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. check the waves. Waves on the swim. You see them. Stay tuned. So in this bottle I have my oil, water, and conditioner, my kinky curly not today leave-in conditioner, my trusty dusty curl enhancing smoothie, my argon oil eco styler gel, and last but not least my secret repin spritz. And here are the tools I will be using today. And since my hair is really thick, I use two ponytail holders because if I use one, it's gonna snap like it ain't nobody's business. Like it's not even no point of me trying. It's not happening. So I have to use two. So here I'm just doing my side part. After multiple tries, I think we finally have a winner. And then I'm going to start by sectioning my hair in two, in two halves that is. And I'm going to get the top half out of the way and then I'm going to begin to spritz my roots just so they'll be easily manipulated. And then once I've rubbed that water, oil, and conditioner in, I'm going to take my brush. It is not a Denman brush, but it's, you know, similar. You know what I mean. And I'm going to comb that through. And then I'm going to add my Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in. Smooth that in. By sectioning your hair into two halves, it makes it easier to gather it all into one ponytail because the second half is what tends to make your hair not as flat because the bottom layer isn't combed through and laid flat so you have to lay the bottom layer flat so that the top layer will lay flat on top of that and I'm gonna put one ponytail holder around this just to secure it and get it out the way And then I am going to get to work on the top half. So I'm going to start with the same process by spritzing my edges so that I can easily manipulate the hair. And I'm going to spray a lot because it's a little dry. Y'all saw what I was working with at the beginning. It's a little rough up there. So then I'm going to add my Kinky Curly Knot today and smooth that in. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the Denman, not Denman brush. What this brush does is comb the under layers of your hair so that it smooths not just the top, but the hair underneath as well. It combs all the way through to the scalp. Then I'm going to add my curl enhancing smoothie. This just adds moisture because like I said in my, when I was telling y'all what products I'm going to use, I'm using spritz. And y'all know that if you don't moisturize your hair properly, spritz can break your hair off if you do not do the proper precautions to prevent that. So I'm going to smooth in my curl enhancing smoothie just to, for added moisture. It also makes my hair lay down really well. Gotta work that shoulder out. I told y'all it was a workout. I'm not playing with y'all. I took like literally three breaks. It didn't help that today was arm day at the gym, so my arms is already tired. So bear with me, y'all. Just bear with me. So the technique is after you smooth it out, 
with the mock Denman brush, you are gonna go in with your bristle brush and pull everything together and just smooth it in. And what I'm doing right now is smoothing my hair down with my hands. And then y'all see those little lumps in there? That's what the brush gets out. It gets out the little lumps up underneath. So I'm gonna go over that again until everything is smooth. And then I'm gonna add my Camille Rose Curl Maker. This is really a styling gel, but I find that it really lays my hair down very well as well and also gives me great hold. It's really just an all around great product. Like I would strongly recommend it. And then I'm just gonna remove the ponytail holder from the layer underneath. Then I'm going to begin to bring everything together. This is a lot of smoothing, y'all. Lots of arm work. Then I have my two ponytail holders and I'm going to wrap it around a total of three times. I would have went four, but it wouldn't let me make it. And I'm going to take a little break because that took a lot out of me. And then for the next step, I am going to add my Eco Styler Gel after I smooth in all the previous product. And I just smooth that into my edges. Then I get my handy dandy baby hair brush, or really just my edge brush. I use this for my edges and my baby hair, but it's smaller. And it can get into those corners better than the bigger brush can. So I'm gonna smooth everything back once more. Get them edges laid, girl. Y'all know ain't no style complete unless some edges laid. I'm sorry, you just have doing it if you don't do your edges. And then my secret weapon. I'm gonna spray the spritz all over because I can lay my hair down all I want to with gel, but I'm still gonna get some flyaways. I live in Texas, it is humid. Like the humidity does not play with you. Like, so I gotta bring in reinforcement with this spritz. So I laid it down and then I'm gonna get my trusty dusty scarf and that's just gonna set it off. This is how you get the waves on swim right here. So I'm going to put this scarf on and I'm going to leave it on for about maybe 10 minutes just to, you know, pull everything together. I'm going to pat that down just so the spritz will help the spritz set just a little bit. So once I've let that set, I'm going to come in with the final step, which is blow drying it just to dry the spritz and basically um, harden the style, set it in. And I'm gonna remove that part of the scarf just so I can get them edges. I want my edges to be laid permanently for forever and always. And then once that's done, I'm gonna fluff out my ponytail and yes, girl. Yes, clearly feeling myself. Okay, you better get it, yes. Yes, Bo. You gotta be your own hype man sometimes. Yes, girl, you cute. But okay, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.